This is like a dream come true every morning. And you want to know what else I dreamt about last night? I dreamt that Charlize Theron was my girlfriend. Quite the score, huh? Which is weird because I don't like obsess over her. I don't like love her movies or anything, but she was just in my dream. It's crazy what the brain thinks about sometimes, you know? But hey, I'll, I'll take Charlize Theron for sure. Maybe she'd enjoy some bike packing trips and of course, Nutella peanut butter wraps. I'm sure she eats this every morning. <laughs> I got in kind of late last night. Didn't quite notice that I am camping amongst cow poo. This is the cow pasture. Man, my legs are disgusting. I don't know what Charlize Theron would think of that. Ooh. Let's see if I still have battery. Oh, thank you, beautiful cow pasture, for a nice place to sleep. And look, the sun is coming up. Okay, buddy, let's go for another ride. All right, no crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Today, in about 10 miles, I'm gonna hit La Garita Wilderness Detour. So that means uh, dirt roads or some type of roads means no hike a bike for like 60 miles. So that makes me very happy. I should be able to get some miles under me today because I need to get to Silverton. I've been rationing my food in my power bank to charge everything. And so uh, I'm gonna need to recharge on all fronts. It's gonna be a great day, I can feel it, it's Friday! So the day is starting off in some pasture land and it smells like you'd think it would smell. And I gotta say, I feel so much better this morning than yesterday morning. I'm just a lot more relaxed and just oh, at ease. And I don't know exactly why. I think temperature has something to do with it. I mean, it's cold, but not nearly as cold as it was yesterday. And yesterday I knew that I was going straight up some very difficult stuff. Today looks to be a little easier. We'll see. Although that's something that doesn't happen often on the Colorado Trail. Easy. Easy is not part of this trail. <laughs> like that all the easy riding is done oh yeah this is a good way to warm up in the morning so I'm cruising down this hill and I see a sign that says trail magic ahead and I'm like I hope they're open early in the morning and they are <laughs> look at this hello Hi. what has ins inspired you to do such a wonderful thing well we um my husband and I hiked the trail last year and we had some trail magic and we just thought, you know, it would be really nice to pay it forward. So this is the second time we've been to this spot. We chose it because it's a dry section and it's uh, Cow Chautopa Creek down here until you get to water. <laughs> and um, we brought like 40 gallons of water and that's been the big thing. Wow, you are so wonderful and you have all sorts of treats. 
Yep. Fruit. Coffee fruit. Look at all of this. Donuts. This is so amazing because I've been low on food. So you seriously oh, are an angel saving the day. Great. Thank you. So we have some hikers here. How you doing? Woo! You having fun on the trail? Loving it. Yeah. Loving it. Where are you from? I'm from Littleton. Oh, okay. Colorado. I'm from Florida. Right <laughs> on. What do you think of these mountains? Uh, definitely different than flat for Florida. So. <laughs> I'm so excited for this donut. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 And what are you making here? I'm making you a little hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. A little, a little Swiss miss. So I have hot chocolate and orange juice, which I think is the ah. perfect combo. Goodbye, Patches. Thank Bye. you so much. You are wonderful. Thank you. And uh, continue to do this lovely service Bye. for all the hikers. I'll be safe. And you guys have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody! Bye. See you later! Oh man. Well, I feel really good now. I was rationing my food. It was pretty tight, you know, for the next two days, but that definitely helped. No doubt about it. And you know what the interesting thing is? This is right here, this piece of road is a bit of the GDMBR that I rode last year. So it's fun to relive the the experience of that. On that day I met the, the wonderful Rose family when they also gave me trail magic at Looters Creek Campground. See if I can navigate this without getting wet feet. Woo. This smells yummy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I did it. Pieces of you, pieces of me, last September, and I said, well, whoa, let them go, yeah. All right, here it is, La Garita Wilderness Detour. The actual trail goes that way, bikes are not allowed. So I'm going that way. And it's about 55 miles, I think, of road riding, dirt roads at least, so should be fairly fast. No hike a bike, yes! There might not be any hike a bike, but uh, that hill looks pretty legit. Gotta go through these mountains right here. Onward. You know what the perfect little snack is? These bite-sized Snickers. I took a handful of these at the Trail Magic Place, and they just give me like, they give me power, like a little Super Mario power pellet. So I'm bombing down this mountain having the time of my life and I see these three guys just drinking beers on the side of the road and I went and said hi, what's up? Not a man, hey congratulations Ryan. Yeah. Ryan congrats, awesome job. Yeah, yeah. so they're having a little picnic and they're, uh, they're sharing with me so <laughs> mom would be proud that I'm eating vegetables and not just yeah, junk right. food. Oh. Yeah, Hello, so you live home. out here, what's it like out here? I love it, it's a great place, I grew up in Gunnison and um, 
I've raised my family. I met my wife from Massachusetts and she stayed once we met and raised two daughters and uh, she just retired as a school teacher and cool. I'm a contractor and we're just having fun in life now. Right on. Yeah. And so you ride bikes too all over this area. Yep. Yeah, primarily cross country. Yeah. What's yeah. the magic of this area? The serenity of uh, the population. It's not overly populated. The front range people have kind of discovered us with the pandemic. Yeah. People stay close to home and we're starting to see it a little bit more, but it's really quiet. It's that's, really a quiet part of Colorado. That's awesome. Well, I really appreciate the fresh veggies. <laughs> mm, right. You guys are awesome. Cheers. Have a great day. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's about 1 p.m. on Friday, which means I have been on the Colorado Trail now exactly seven days. And it feels good. I'm having a good day today. Yesterday was my low day. Today, I'm rebounding, feeling a lot better. And I've never been to this part of Colorado. This is absolutely stunning. My dirty legs. I think it's time to wash off a little bit. I feel grimy. Oh, yes. Woo! Oh, boy. That'll wake you up. <laughs> now I'm going to dry off as I ride uphill for a long time. <laughs> that feels good. I'm actually a little cold even, which is good. Nice to cool down the core. It's actually pretty warm today. I'm seeing some storm clouds in the sky. Hopefully they don't do anything. I like getting wet voluntarily, not involuntary from rainstorms. <laughs> Sunny 20 minutes ago when I jumped in the river. I found a great place to hide from the rain. Not very roomy and it doesn't smell good, but I'm dry, which is very nice. Eee, sounds rowdy out there. I sometimes wish I could read the future at least the very near future. If that were the case, I would not have jumped in freezing cold water 20 minutes ago. But seriously, it was hot and sunny. <sighs> My pantalones are freezing. I'm sitting here under the trees now waiting out the storm because that bathroom smelled too bad and I'm going through old text messages and my buddy Chris Jones sent me a photo a few days ago that says, best day ever. That's today, <laughs> best day ever. <laughs> oh, I love it, even when it's rain raining, it's a pretty darn good day. It's already been an amazing day. And when this blows over, I'm gonna get back on my bike and yeah, life will be good. Life's good right now. I'm just wet and cold. Okay, it's let up enough to give this a try and I figure moving my body will keep me warmer than standing. So let's go. Let's go up this hill and hope the rain stops. You know, I'm thankful I'm on a road right now. It's muddy and a little bit slippery, but the Colorado Trail was so slippery when it was raining and wet on those roots and rocks. So I can actually pedal and make progress, whereas on the trail, it was very difficult.
and we're back to hot sunny Colorado again and I'm all dry. Oh boy, do I love the sun. Look at this. I have serious cabin envy. I have not seen a structure for like 15 miles. Just think how cozy it would be to have this as your getaway. You could come here and write a book or just hang out, look at the stars. I mean, look at the backyard. Whoa. Still making my way up this monster hill. You can see I have a ways to go. The grade isn't super steep, about five, six or seven percent. Man, I've been climbing for a long time, but these mountains are stunning. Oh yeah. And there's no cars in the road. I'm at the top and there's a whole new set of mountains. Although I'm not going that way, I'm going the other way. But I think where I'm headed is gonna look a whole lot like that. And I'm excited for those views. I'm here at Spring Creek Pass. This is where I get back on to the Colorado Trail. I've ridden the 55 mile uh, detour, plus a little bit more. I've already done 68 miles. It's uh, let's see, 5.30 p.m. I'm gonna try to do a few more miles just to make tomorrow's ride into Silverton a little bit easier. Whew, and you might think, oh, it's easy. I've been riding dirt roads and stuff. My legs are shot. It's a long grind. I've already done 6,000 feet of elevation gain. So I heard quite a ruckus about half a mile ago. I thought it was chainsaws off in the forest. Nope. Hey guys, how's it going? You're making a lot of noise. Good to see you. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Look at all those cute furry butts. <laughs> this is quite the scene. <laughs> Maybe I can catch one and force it to cuddle with me. It's gonna be cold tonight. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks for entertaining me. We're looking for a place to camp. Something nice and flat. And these clouds are, I don't know. They're looking like they might wanna rain again. I've been walking and walking and walking and there is no flat ground to be found. It's all lumpy and rocky. So I'm just going and going. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And I promised myself that I would find a better camp spot tonight than last night. Last night's was a little, a little like this, but I don't know. I'm on the recon here. This looks doable. Some nice grass. It's pretty lumpy, but built-in air mattress. I don't want to go any further. I've been riding all day. It's like 7 p.m. This is going to have to do. And I want to get my tent up before it starts raining because it looks like rain. This is the inside of my tent. Look at that, built in. It's like a, it's like a bouncy castle. This might actually be kind of comfortable as long as there's nothing sharp hidden in here. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this burrito all day. I bought these ready-made burritos in Buena Vista, potato bean, and it's all smashed up in my, <laughs> from my bike, but it tastes so good. 
Mmm. And now I'm feeling pretty cozy in here. It might be cold tonight because I'm at 11,200 feet. We will see. And check this out. For the main event tonight, peanut butter, Nutella, and Fritos. I really couldn't be happier right now. I'm in my tent. It's raining. It's cozy. I had a great day. <laughs> I'm going to eat this masterpiece. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> you know, I'm all alone up here. Many of the other nights there have been hikers near me. Um, but I think I'm so far ahead of the hikers now that, that there's nobody out here. And I'm also camped on a ridge at 11,000 feet, so. Ooh, does anybody know any scary ghost stories? Ooh, <laughs> another great day, man. Gosh, it keeps on getting better in different ways, you know? One day I think it can't, the beauty can't be topped, and the other day I, I don't think that the human aspect can't be topped, and it's just every day, something new. There's a new surprise every day, so here's to tomorrow. Buenas noches.